Okay, I'd just like to show something I just uh, picked up at auction. One of two items. The uh, second item will be its own video. But uh, this is a portable booster with air compressor. The primary reason why I bought it, the uh, 16 horse Vanguard engine. This engine is pretty new. Um, so this engine is actually going in my uh, Cub Cadet out back that already has the 16 horse Vanguard because that engine is a little on the tired side. I plan on selling that tractor relatively soon. So this here should be a good replacement engine. This is the type with the key start right here in the front. It's got the solenoid right here, oil, and a few other things that makes it a standalone engine, the fuel tank up top. But I should be able to strip this down to the bare block, take everything off of the other engine, and transplant it onto this engine. So this has three large deep cycle, I believe they're deep cycle, 12 volt batteries, so running at 36 volts to boost. It's got a, what appears to be a GM alternator, I think you probably see it better from the other side. It's got a fairly large air tank. It's all belt driven. So my idea is I'm going to strip the engine off and the batteries, and I'm going to see if my uh, a friend of mine wants to buy it the way it sits. Leave the alternator in place and if he wants to put batteries back on it and another engine back on it, he can do so. You can see the uh, alternator right there. It's definitely a large alternator. Um, probably 110 amp alternator at least. It's, it's pretty big. The batteries appear to be dead. Um, they're all still hooked up. So I'm going to get a battery charger and see if they can will take anything for power. Um, we'll see that in a little bit. I've tried the key, I've tried the uh, kill, there's nothing, there's no power, there's no power anywhere. So, right here, this is the positive cable that you'd clamp, literally clamp to a battery, and this is your negative that you'd clamp to a battery. Uh, my assumption is that switch is just the batteries, it's not controlling the actual starting of the engine. So I'm thinking that's just controlling the output to the actual um, uh, clamps that you clamp to the battery. The engine's got uh, uh, decent oil in it. Uh, it's got gas in it. It's been sitting out in the sun. I ripped off the auction sticker. The gas cap is definitely a little on the nasty side. But all the, everything on the top of, end of the engine will come off. I'm going to order up another set of uh, Vanguard tins. Because the other engine is going to go in the Craftsman GT6000. So I, or I might just leave these tins on it. We'll see. See what it looks like uh, stripped off. But I think I'm going to need an air filter. Um, but once the tank comes off, probably just an air filter. I don't really care what the engine looks like since I am keeping that machine. Um, also, it's going to need a fuel pump. Um, this does not currently have a fuel pump. But I should be able to add a uh, valve cover with the fuel pump adapter. And that should take care of the uh, fuel pump requirements um, since that machine actually has a standalone vacuum fuel pump on it. So that should work out in that aspect as well. So I'm going to get a battery boost in a couple minutes. I'm going to hook it up to uh, one of the batteries and we're going to see if we got anything. Um, like I said, I'm only sitting at about 2.5 volts. I don't expect these batteries to come back. But being deep cycle, they might come back. If I take them out of there, um, check the water levels, maybe get some distilled water, fill them up, they might come back since they are deep cycle. At least I, I'm pretty sure they are deep cycle. There are three identical batteries down here. I'll probably pull one out and uh, get some information off of it. It's definitely a uh, hard one to pull over because we're pulling against an alternator and a air compressor down there. And we got this uh, switch panel right here with a plug that does something. So whoever built this definitely did a pretty decent job on it. I don't know if they just built it and then something happened. It came from the state to my knowledge. Um, at this auction, there's a lot of different things. So I pre-bid on this 
and then the live auction was this morning so and i ended up winning it won it for a little bit more than i wanted to win it for but that engine alone is worth what i paid for it so stay tuned for a first start on this so i'll talk to them later please please keep it redneck like always and uh please run comment